uh, we love this time of day. Uh, Dale <laughs> Pollack is here. He's uh, reviewing all sorts of things and telling us what to watch because, as we all know, there is no <laughs> shortage of content to choose from, so we rely on his expert advice. Good morning, yes. Dale. Thanks for joining us. Morning, Brian. Good morning, Audrey. So first, let's um, hear what you think about The Diplomat. That's on Netflix. Well, this is a fun conversation because I think it's one of the best series of the year. Deborah Kahn, who created this, is such a good writer. The dialogue in this series is so superior, I think, to anything else that's streaming right now. This is the most literate, well well written script and two terrific actors in Carrie Russell and Rufus Sewell. She plays a ambassador who at the last minute is assigned to London uh, rather than going to Afghanistan. She's not happy there and Rufus Sewell, her husband, is also a former ambassador. So it leads to all kinds of domestic and national entanglements. There's a lot of stuff with the CIA and the FBI and it's just such a literate, intelligent series that it's a pleasure to watch. Wow, okay, I'm gonna guess you're giving it a high popcorn rating? Four popcorns, it's suspenseful, it's original, and it really delivers. Four popcorns, and Dale, you know, we don't mean to make you jealous, but we have some popcorn here with we us do. in our studio this morning. <laughs> it's one of the many perks of working here at the local Vibe and WXII. We've got a popcorn machine in the building. Yeah, how amazing. Take, take cheers, cheers here, Brian, right? with our popcorn. Yeah, is it cheers. good or old tasting? This is old. This is from yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> Thought so. Good. I'm, I'm going to pass this morning. All right, four popcorns on The Diplomat. Okay. That was good. We like that. Uh, all right, Dale, talk about Tom Jones on PBS. Well, this is the opposite story. This is a dud. And, and the reason is the actor playing Tom Jones, I don't know if they had smoked salmon back there, but he's a lox. He just sits there. And there is no interest in a series where the main uh, character is just a question mark. He doesn't have much of a personality. He kind of bounces from relationship to relationship. The series is beautifully... Uh, costumed and designed and filmed, that's not the issue. The issue is the character, who's the title character, and he does nothing for the series. Uh, it also does something uh, interesting. You know, we're, we've gotten used to colorblind casting, seeing non-white actors in different roles that maybe they would never have been in 10 or 20 years ago. Well, in this one, there is a black uh, actress, Sophie Wilde, and she's excellent, but they have to go through contortions about how she came from Jamaica, and none of this is in the original, original Henry Fielding book. So once again, you see us playing with a classic to try to make it politically correct, and it just ends up hurting the story. Popcorn rating on this, Dale? Two popcorns. Two. If well. you got into Tom Jones, why watch it? Here we go. We, yeah, have, we, we, two we have two popcorns, popcorns right to here. match yes, your rating. Okay, too. lastly, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Dale, you went and saw this last night? Oh, I hope this is a good one. Yeah. I, I'm not the biggest fan of the Marvel Universe. I'm kind of tired of it, frankly. Same. One of the bright spots has always been Guardians of the Galaxy because they add a lot of humor to the other hijinks. And in this case, the humor is still there, but it's kind of lost in this edition. Uh, the character voiced by Bradley Cooper, the raccoon rocket, is in stress and in trouble for this whole film, and everything is kind of trying to help him get through it. And the problem is Bradley Cooper brings a lot of energy to the series, and when he's not on screen, it begins to falter. Mm. You know, it's got the usual Marvel extended ending, an endless battle. Stay for part of the credits to see the little teaser for the next film to come. That's what Marvel always does. But, you know, there's a general feeling that the Marvel Universe is kind of running out of gas. And what's going to what is it going to take to really shake things up again and deliver a really terrific movie? This is not it. I'm giving it three popcorns because the energy of Dave Bautista and the other actors is mm -hmm. all very good. And the voice of Vin Diesel for once he says something else other than I am Groot. But it's really all to not a great effect. And by the end of Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3, I was just tired. Yeah. It's two and a half hours, oh, okay. which is at wow. least long. an hour too long. And you were talking about the, the Marvel Universe. They've had their foot on the gas for a, such a long time, so many years now, that I think, yeah, a lot of people are looking for something fresh and something new. Mm -hmm. um, Dale, I did want to say really quick, um, 
because I, I know your relationship to this. First of all, may the fourth be with you. We missed you yesterday. <laughs> For our folks at home who don't know this, Dale literally wrote the book on George Lucas. You can find it on Amazon, by the way. Uh, Dale, I want to just let you know that we did you proud yesterday. We had a couple of hours where we just kind of all got together and celebrated this yesterday. Mm -hmm. Your friends here at the station went all out <laughs> in costume. We played games. We had trivia. We played music. Uh, we did it all yesterday. And I was thinking about you yesterday because you, you literally have written the book on George Lucas. Well, next year, I hope you'll invite me. Aww. Yes, I know. <laughs> next year. We don't have visitors in the building yet, so per se, yet, but hopefully next year we'll, we'll be able to do that. But yeah, you'll be a great addition to that. For yes. folks at home, Skywalker is the name of Dale's book. You it's can find awesome. it on Amazon.com. And what Dale has not told us the last few months, or at least I missed it, uh, he has released a new novel this year called Chopped, a murder mystery set back in the 1850s. So check that out, too. Dale, look at this. Thanks. He should be like your, uh, your publicist. We'll, we'll talk after the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you, Dale, and thank for everyone you, at home. Uh, check out those titles again here on your screen for a refresher. The Diplomat on Netflix, Masterpiece, Tom Jones on PBS, and Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3. To find more reviews, always head to DaleMPollock.com.